I'm telling you. Like, because look, <laughs> like if if in like a month the Nets are like 10 and 20, yeah, I, they're good. They have to blow it up. You have to. <laughs> Because there's no way Kevin Durant – like, the whole reason Kevin Durant said he wanted to be traded was because he said that he felt like he couldn't win with this team. If you're – if you're right now, it's looking like he can't win with this team. He couldn't win with this team currently, like as of this yeah. roster this year or yeah, last year's roster? No, he, he, said in, he said he didn't think that he could work with this team. He did say that he thought that they – that we got – that they got some nice pieces and stuff like that. But yeah. that, you know, he, he just wants to win and he's only getting up there in age. Right. No, no, I, I don't mind that. As long as he was talking about last year's team, because this year's team, I can understand that. But yeah. last year's team, I mean, there was, there the, was injuries too last year, but I mean. Yeah, I mean, look, like I said, the point is, is that like, regard, like if they, if they start, if they're like, you know, 20 games in and they're like five and 15 or something like that, I just, I just don't see a scenario where Kevin Durant doesn't ask out. Like, you know, he might not do it publicly this time, but I could see. Can him. he ask out though? Of course he can. I mean, he did. Well, because he because he only he only Austin. signed. I mean, oh, they yeah. don't have to trade him, but yeah. like he could. Like, I think if he if he tries to force his way out again, I think the Nets will trade. Yeah. Because do you really want to go through that all over again? Like, do you want like you finally you finally won, right? And, and yeah. I think from a Nets perspective. You, you have to. Like, if this team is terrible, like I said, like, if this team goes and they're, you know, and like I said, they're 5-15 and 15 or something like that yeah. through the first 20 games, they they got to. got Like, they got to blow it up because you're not winning a championship with this team. Like, you know, you're, you're – And the off chance that. that they do, though, does he still leave or does he stay? If, they, if the Nets win the – like, if the Nets turn it around and they're, like, 15-5, and five, I think all will be right in the world. But like, if they're not like, if they're a play-in team again, like, then I don't like they like because like even earlier today I was talking about the Nets and somebody was like, we gotta relax. Like the Nets have injuries, and I'm like, T.J. Warren, who hasn't played with this team, does not count as an in. Like, this no, is still the not same a, not team. a contrib- contributor. He's not, not yeah. yet at least. We don't. I mean, maybe he does, but still, yeah. like. You have it's like saying, Oh, Wayne and Gabriel got injured, so we don't like no, no disrespect exactly. to Wayne and Gabriel, but it's you know what I mean? Like, what, yeah, I mean, it's like okay, a better example would be like Kendrick Nunn. Like, let's say Kendrick, okay, Nunn yeah, okay, that, that's sorry, Kendrick that's a better Nunn example. Let's say Kendrick Nunn hasn't played yet. Could yeah. Kendrick Nunn make an impact? Sure, but he he hasn't, he wasn't a part of the team last year. He isn't, you know, he's not like it, it's not you have the core of your team, and that's the point. Yeah. You have Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, or sorry, Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant. And uh, and Kyrie Irving, you got the core of your team. Like yeah. you know, TJ Warren isn't going to come in and and turn you into you know the Jordan's Bulls. Like it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, like it's just. I mean, yeah, he's not like a he, Steve Kerr. He's not like like he, you know like he doesn't have that type of impact. Yeah. yeah. Could he be? Is he going to be a contributor? Sure. Is he going to be a guy that you know maybe gives you fifteen points a night? Sure. But he isn't going to help the defense. He isn't going to turn the team around single handedly. Like, you know, it's, 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 you got your core guys and you look bad. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if they don't look good through like 20 games, if you're the Nets, I think you got to blow it up. I think you got to put Kevin Durant on the trade block. And I definitely think you got to trade Kyrie Irving. Even if it's not, to, even if you don't trade Kyrie to the Lakers, yeah. I think you got to trade Kyrie Irving. Because if Kyrie walks, you're screwed if you're the Nets. Okay. You're screwed. Because, if you if you don't trade Kyrie Irving and he leaves, you have yeah. no salary cap to replace him because they're still over the cap with Kevin Durant on a max, uh, 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 Ben Simmons on a max, and then they still have um, Joe Harris on a twenty two million deal or twenty million deal, whatever. Yeah, there's all your salary, so you can't replace Kyrie. You might as well get something for him. And if this team sucks, continues to suck. They're going. They're not going to want to keep Kyrie. Kyrie's not going to want to stay on a team that he can't win with or can't play with. And Kevin no, because that was that was the issue in Boston a little bit. <laughs> Although I feel like he could have. I still feel like he could have won in Boston, but that I mean, I think he could have won in Boston either. He just I, I just don't think he there. really wanted to be there. Um, <laughs> now blow it up, for, blow it up for Victor, or just blow it up. I don't think they'd be bad enough. No, Victor, they, they but, can't blow it up. For, they don't have the traffic. Um, oh yeah, but, that's right. That's right. That's right. But uh, you like. Like if I was the net, like if the Nets are terrible, I would 
Like I would call Phoenix and I would call Boston, especially Boston. And I'd be like, do you still like I'd ask about like, do you still want to do the deal? Like, would you do would you still do Marcus Smart? Uh like so here if I was in it, this is exactly how I would do it if I was in it. I would call up Boston, I'd say Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and like two first, Kevin Durant shares right now. Right? That's a that's a pretty solid trade. That that's less than what the the what yeah. the Celtics were originally willing to give up. Right? That's a good deal too, not to mention. Like you're getting yeah. a lot of quality for Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, because the problem is that like one, even if you blow it up, you're still stuck with Ben Simmons, right? So you, you're not going to be able to trade Ben Simmons because you're never going to get value for Ben Simmons. So yeah. you're kind of stuck with Ben Simmons. So ideally, like if I was the Nets, I would call up, I'd say, hey, I want, like I said, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and maybe maybe you ask them to throw in their rookie, right? The, yeah. what, what's his name? Um, why am I blanking on his name off the top of my head? Anyway, uh, they, they have some new, they have a new young rookie that, uh, that could be promising. I'd be like, I want the rookie. I want the... Uh, I want uh, Mark Smart. I want Jalen Brown. I want two first, right? Kevin Durant shares. You can have them right now. Boom. I actually think are you, Boston. Are you not taking Tatum because they they wouldn't give him Tatum, or you just do, they you can't trade Tatum. Tatum because of the because of the the league rules, uh, player uh, rookie max extensions. You can't have okay, okay. so because they have uh, uh, Ben Simmons, they can't do that deal. So, okay. not just that. The whole reason the Celtics want to trade Jason Tatum or not Jason Tatum, uh, Jalen Brown. Is because they they fear he's going to leave. They fear yeah. that he's going to walk in two seasons. So if you're them, you're like, hey, look, we'll do this deal. Do it right now. Boom. Let's say if the Celtics agree, then I'm calling the Lakers. And I'm saying, hey, Indiana wants to do two firsts uh, for Buddy Heald and Miles Turner, right? And yeah. the Lakers are going to say, yeah. And I'm going to say, okay. Go do that deal, and we want Miles Turner. So, because at that point, I mean, those firsts don't matter. You're trying to rebuild. Yeah. You're trying to make the best team possible, right? So, like, if you're the Nets, you could care less about those Lakers first, at least right now. Because, again, five, six years from now, Nets want to be good, right? So, especially if you get Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart. So, now you just turned Jay, or you just turned uh, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant into uh, – into, uh, 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 Marcus Smart. Why, Marcus Smart. Thank you. Sorry. Like the Marcus Smart, Ben Jaylen Simmons, Brown. Jalen Brown, right? Seth Curry, and Miles. Young, Smith. young, young, you and might, running, you running, might, and young, and skilled too. Yeah, that would be a might, fun that, team to watch. In my opinion, that, <laughs> in my opinion, that team is much better than this team. Than the yeah, team. yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're probably the best defensive team in the league. With Ben Simmons, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Miles Turner, you have four of like the best individual defenders, and then yeah. all playing team defense. Marcus Smart just won Defensive Player of the Year uh, because the Celtics were so good defensively. Like you're probably the best defensive team in the league. Not only are you the best defensive team in the league, you got scoring, you got closers. Yeah, I agree, Snorlax. That quarter did went back. <laughs> uh, but like you have everything. Like, and you have depth. You still have TJ Warren. You still have Joe Harris. You still have Nick Claxton. You still – like, you're a good, deep, young team. You're yeah. basically you're basically the Boston Celtics from, like, two years ago. And that team went, went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, you're yeah. that's literally the team you are. Like, so I think that – I think that – so basically you turn Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving into a better team all around. Maybe they, they're not they, – they might not have the gifted scorers – that the Nets yeah. currently have, but you still have all your shooters, and you just and you're now you're now instead of being one of the worst defensive teams, you're probably the best defensive team in the league. You're gonna be yeah. good. Like I don't know if you're a contender good, but you might you might be close. You're gonna be better than you are right now as a player. Well, yeah, team. they're gonna look kind of how like the Celtics look like right now. Like <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, and yeah. the and the Lakers, you and the Lakers were willing to give up both first round picks for Kyrie Irving and the off season. So if you're the Nets, if you're the Nets, you're saying like, look, you were willing to give us both first for Kyrie Irving, right? Yes. Indiana wants both first right now for Buddy Hilda Miles Turner, right? He's they're gonna say yes. They're gonna say, okay, yeah. go do that trade. Keep Buddy Hield, because we don't need Buddy Hield, because we got Joe Harris. Keep Buddy Hield, go do that deal, and then we're gonna tack on as a third team. 
and we're going to swap, you know, Kyrie Irving and, and Miles Turner and, you know, whatever. We want to pick swap in 2028 and, you know, and maybe Max Christie or something like that, which I like Max Christie, yeah. but, you know, hey, if we could get Kyrie Irving on this team right now, I think we do it, right? You do that. So now you got two rookies that you could develop under your system that you could have for the long term. I really like Max Christie. You get a pick swap from the Lakers that might be good in 2028. You get, you know, two firsts from the Celtics. You get Micah Smart, uh, uh, Jalen Brown, and Miles Turner. Now you're a really good team. You got two good young rookies. You got a bunch of shooting. You got a bunch of defense. You, I mean, you got everything, literally. Yeah. Like, and the Lakers would do it because, like I said, they were going to do both first for Kyrie Irving anyway. Boom. There you go. Everyone's happy. The Lakers land yeah. uh, Buddy Hield and Kyrie Irving. So there's your shooting. There's your scoring, right? So now you get that. Lakers so you think that just because they have Turner, they're fine. Like, well, I mean, if you got Turner, you'd be okay because you're not too worried about the pick swap. And yeah, like, you know, okay, you're not like so. And and yeah, so like like I said, if you're the Nets, you're like we're gonna lose Kyrie for nothing anyway. Why not get a young center that we can keep now? The Nets have wanted Miles Turner for like two, three years now. So, so you, you do get, that deal just for Turner, really? Yeah, essentially, you're just, just basically swapping Kyrie for for uh, Miles Turner. I mean, I, I think the Lakers would have to throw in something else. I'd, yeah, have to yeah, actually, yeah. Like, I'd have to actually look up the money. But m- they might not because the Pacers have – because the Pacers have um, – yeah, because the Pacers have like 30 million cap space. So they might not have to uh, because yeah. uh, basically – because you'd have uh, – the Lakers sending so basically the the Pacers would be taking the the salaries they'd be taking all the salary guys you know maybe maybe you even throw in I don't know like you know if you have to you throw in like a Kendrick Nunn or something you know whatever whatever you got to do because if you get Kyrie Irving and you get Buddy Hield like I said there's your shooting there's your scoring Lakers yeah. are probably night and day better you know you got you still got your big three you got your team of now and the next several years right. And you're good. And like, right, the whole point of you preserving cap spaces for Kyrie Irving next year, why not? You know, if you could get him now, like, again, I'm not saying that this will happen. It's all just hypothetical. But yeah. like, I think the Nets become a much better team. I think the Lakers get everything they want. I think, I think Boston the, wants to, would want to make that trade, though. That's the only thing. Do you think that would they would actually want to make that trade? I mean, they offered it in the offseason. That's true. So I mean, why not? I mean, maybe because maybe they look at it as like because they don't want to they don't want to help don't do it out. in the middle of the season. Maybe that, that's yeah. how they look at it. Like maybe we yeah. don't want to do it in the middle of the season. But like again, the whole reason is that they're afraid that they're going to leave. But okay, like let's say, let's say they say no. I guarantee mm-hmm. you, the Suns will trade. Will make that trade, and so to get rid and, of Aiden. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could trade Aiden. Well, the problem is uh, Aiton has veto rights on everything, so he has to want to go to Brooklyn. They can't trade him unless he want unless he says it's okay, at wow. least this year. But why wouldn't he want to go and be the guy in Brooklyn? Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, so, yeah. Sure. You know, so like if you could get like so say so say the Celtics don't want to do the deal, right? Okay, fine, move on to the Suns, tr- get Aiton, because uh, I think the Suns would give you whatever they want. Primarily because the Suns are trying to sell the team. And yeah, you know what'll get you more money? Having Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul on your team. That'll get you that'll probably get you an extra bill. Hey, that's a that, that's a contender. That's a that's a strong yeah. contender. If they could play together, which I don't see why they could because I know I mean, Kevin Chris, Paul, Chris. Chris Paul's the ultimate orchestrator, right? You got the Yeah, guy. like Chris could play with Kevin. I know that for a fact. Well, we've seen that from the the uh the team, the um the redeem team. Which, yeah. by the way, if you have not watched it, and for all of our listeners, if you have not watched the Redeem Team on Netflix, it was a great documentary. Amazing. Fact. Fact. But, yeah, so, I mean, if you do the Suns deal, you could still do the Pacers deal, right? So you do the Pacers deal uh, with the Lakers. You send Kyrie to Lakers. And now, instead of uh, instead of Marcus Smart and, uh, and Jalen Brown, you get Aiton – Say Aiton, Cam Johnson, and uh, or say Aiton Crowder and uh, and like Bridges, right? So now you got those three guys. You get the Suns would probably give you whatever draft picks you want. It makes it it makes sense for the Suns because now they're probably a legit contender. Not only are they probably a legit contender, but again, the owner's trying to sell the Bridges, team. That's nice. 
He is, but he's not Kevin he's Durant. Not. Nice. No, but he's you not. You know, so yeah. you basically turn a center that doesn't really want to be there and bridges into into Kevin Durant, and yeah. you know, and then go sign Cousins and Whiteside. There's your center. Your center's now filled, and now you don't have to worry about the center position. And yeah. you got a legit team. Like, I just think however you slice it, I think the the net could make up very well. No, no, no. The Lakers are getting smacked. <laughs> Bruce Brown's three or three from three. That's ridiculous. But anyway, 